What is going on guys, Bruin Steel here and welcome back to another Boston Celtics video and today I am recapping, sharing my thoughts on game 3 and 4 in the series right now that's going on against the Miami Heat and my Boston Celtics are up 3-1 in the series winning both um, away games against Miami in Miami um, so I'm recapping the two games that we won um, in game three and four in Miami, and that was huge for us. Um, knowing that this team, Miami Heat, is the team that has beaten us last season in the playoffs in the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, we get to um, end the series um, on Wednesday night. To um, end the end the series that Wednesday night, and um, it we got to we got to finish the job on Wednesday night. Um, shift the game five is in Boston so hopefully we get the momentum and win game five um, because if we lose game five ugh, I do not want to see this team collapse in the playoffs um, you know the heat they make the excuse saying that they don't have Jimmy and Terry um, obviously respect to Jimmy Butler um, he hasn't played um, you know if Miami Heat were to come back down 3-1. Jimmy might be playing in the next round, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, we got to end the series in five. Um, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Celtics and Heat, um, game five. Celtics will have the opportunity to close out the series. Um, get it done, boys. Um, but I just want to talk about um, game three and four in Miami. Just a great game overall. Um, not really a high scoring game, you know, it was a uh, 104 to 84 um, game three. Boston takes the 2 1 series lead after that game three. Um, and physically, you know, Miami struggled in both of these home games. Um, you know, Miami kind of struggled last night, which was game four. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, Miami struggled at, with shooting, and then at one point, the Celtics were struggling at the shooting. Um, but talking about game three, um, it was a great game. Um, props to everyone on the floor. Obviously, Jason Tatum, 22 points. Jalen Brown, 22 points. Um, uh, Chris Teth, Porzingis, um, 18 points. Drew Holiday only had three points, but whatever. Derek White, man. Don't get me started with Derek White. Derek White is a absolute beast. He was an absolute beast in game four. Um, but in game three, he had 16 points. Peyton Pritchard, 7 points. El Hoffer, 9. Tim Hither um, had 5. Luke Kernett, um had 2. At this point, we were blowing out the heat. So we kind of um, brought Luke Cornette, um out of the bench. So um, um, amazing amazing basketball game by the Celtics. And um, looking at the, you know, the heat, you know, obviously... Tyler Hero, great player. Tyler Hero, 15 points. Caleb Mount Martin, 5 points. Ben Albelo, this is a center who had some chaos in Game 4, which I will get to. Um, ben Albelo, um had 20 points. An amazing center that Miami has. Uh, Nikola Jovic is 15. Jamie Jordan Jr., forward. He's pretty good, 12 points. Um, you know, overall, you know, from the get-go, um, the Miami Heat in Game 3 only scored 12 points in the first quarter. That is insane. That is just, holy moly, it's horrible for them. Um, 21 points for us in the first quarter. 42, like I said, we were completely dominating the Miami Heat in Game 3. Um, you know, and then the momentum ship and towards us. And then it was it was a great game. Um, looking at the stats for Game 3, um, obviously, oh my god, this is annoying. Oh, my fucking God. You know what? Sorry about that, guys. Um, but like I was saying, um, looking at the stats, um, we had the field goals. It was uh, 39, 39 to 82 attempts for the field goal for the Celtics, 32 77 for the Heat. Uh, field goal percentage was 41.6 for the Heat and then 47.6 for the Celtics. Um, we were okay in the three-pointers, uh, 11 for 37, they were 9 for 28. Um, three-point percentage, they were a little hard, uh, higher than ours, which is 32.1, um, so it's not bad. Uh, 32.1, we had a 29.7 three-point percentage. You kind of saw in games one and two, we kind of, 
you know, switched up the three-pointers. Game one, we dominated on, in threes. And then game two, the Heat dominated us in threes. Um, free throws, we were 15-21. and 21. They were 11-14, so not too bad. Um, but they beat us in the free throw line 78.6% at the free throw line. Um, we had 71.4. Um, we beat them in the rebound, 43 to 36. Offensive rebounds, we had 10. We had 33. They had 27. Nine, whatever. Um, we had 22 assists. They had 21. And then the blocks, we had six nice blocks in this game three, and then two blocks in, for Miami. We had four steals. They had two. Um, and the turnovers, man. Miami definitely cost them this game with the turnovers. They had 12 turnovers to us to four. Um, we only had four turnovers where they had 12, so you see the little the difference right there. Um, points in the paint. We actually um, beat them in the points in the paint. We had 42 points in the paint. They had 34, and we had 16,014. So overall, this game was just a dominant faction win. Um, Celtics and he kind of, you know, great. Um, so after this game three, Celtics kick a 2-1 series lead. Um... So moving on to last night, uh, moving on to last night's um, you know, game. So it was great. Um, so just want to let you guys know. I I want to talk about that uh flagrant call that the referees um called on um Bam Idal Bail. Um, so basically what happened, I think it was Derek White that got tripped up. By the way, Derek White was unbelievable in this game. Um, Derek White, 38 points. 38! Derek White is a stud, man. I'm so glad we traded him off from the Spurs. Um, but Derek White is a beast. 38 points. That's like almost. Um, Jason Tatum with 20 points. Jalen Brown with 17. Um, Chris Porzingis. Uh, I want to talk about that flagrant foul on the Miami Bam ba Bale, whatever his name is. Um, but Chris Porzingis, a scary moment. Um, he got hurt and left the game. It was doubtful that he was going to return. I think it was a ACL tightness. This is like, because looking at the replay, it looked like it was a finger injury because he was dragging the ball and then he was like shaking it up a little bit, but it looked like it was a sigh. It was a sigh leg, um, soreness, but, um, who knows? Uh, we have to see what the update for Porzingis. That's going to be a huge loss for us. Um, but talking about that, um, flagrant call, um, and Miami fan, Miami Heat fans want to say, oh, Jason Tatum's dirty for doing that. But Bam El DeBeo, um, was called for a flagrant for, so what happened was, I don't know who got pushed. El Hoffer got a technical foul because he actually pushed Bam. Um, so Bam basically, I think Jason Tatum was going for like a practice shot and then Bam kind of tripped him up. Um, Jason Tatum rolled his ankle a little bit. Thankfully he was okay. Um, and they called a, um, flagrant foul on Bam, and I gotta say, I disagree with it. I don't think it was that big of a deal. I think they could have been just a regular foul, but I just feel like Jason Tatum was just going for a practice shot, and basically, Bam just tripped him up a little bit. Thankfully, Jason Tatum was okay. That would have been huge if we lost Jason Tatum for the series, um, or next series, whatever. Um, but that was crazy. Um, this game, it was pretty close at the beginning. It went back and forth, and then the start of the second half, uh, well, midway, like, midway or towards the end of the first, um, quarter of this game four, which was last night, uh, Celtics got the momentum. We were up by a bunch. Um, Tyler Hero, 19 points. Caleb Martin, 18 points. Um, Bam had 24 points. Like I said, this is probably their best center that they have, the Miami Heat. Uh, and Joe Keeman, three. Um, Jamie Jaquel Jr. had nine. Um, so, um, this was a great game. Um, a lot of, you know, at one point, like, you know, the Celtics couldn't make shots. Uh, Miami couldn't make sense. Um, Miami couldn't make shots, excuse me. Um, and then it just got frustrating to me. Um, I was at a bar with my buddy watching the game and, um, we actually watched the first half and then we just left and then I caught the rest of the game at home. So... Um, Peyton Pritchard didn't score any points in the, um, this game, which kind of concerned me, but Peyton Pritchard is awesome. I love him. Um, and Derek White had to be the MVP. Derek White was crushing it. Jason Tatum was crushing it. Um, Jason Tatum had, he was like, it was great. Um, um, looking at the stats for game four, 
Um, 76 and 86 for field goals for the Celtics, 85, 86 for, uh, the Heat for field goals. Um, we have them for the percentage, 41.9% of field goal for us, and then 40%, uh, 40.7% of field goal for them. Uh, three-pointers, we beat them 14 attempts to 37, they only made 9 out of 33. The three-pointers actually, it was horrible in this game. I mean, we made so many great three-pointers, but man, at the beginning of the game, it just like... Man, so many stupids. Uh, the Miami Heat couldn't make any shots in this game. Um, free throws. We were 16 and 18. They were 9 and 12. Uh, the percentage is clearly higher than uh, favor to us than Miami. 88.9% for us from the free throw line. And then Miami Heat were 75% uh, seventy-five percent even uh, at the free throw line. Um, we had 46 total rebounds, 242. Um, assists, we had 21 assists, blocks, steals, turnovers, there was just non-stop turnovers for us. Um, they got points in the paint, 46 to 40, but like I said, there were points in the game where they couldn't make shots, we were going to make shots, and then, you know, uh, and then the personal fouls was, we had 20 and then we had 18, but overall, um, we got a comfortable 3 to 1 series lead. Um, I can't stress enough, we need to finish these guys off. Um, you know, I don't think the Celtics have ever blew a 3-1 series lead. So, finish it. Um, we play, I believe, I think we play, yeah, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, the Celtics play Game 5 in Boston. Um, you have a chance, boys, to finish it off. Um, please, I don't want this to go to Game 6 in Miami where they can have the momentum. You know, obviously, so I want this fucking game done in five games, man, guys. You know, so no more choking leads at the end of each game, which thankfully you guys didn't. Um, it was close, but I want this series done on um Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Get it done. Beat the Heat, and we're on to face, I think Cleveland is it. I don't know. Um, I believe, I don't know if it's Cleveland or is it the Pacers. I don't know. Um, but get the job done, boys. Um, I believe in you. Show them we're the best team in the league. Um, show them we're the best, we're not to mess with in the, um, playoffs. Um, get it done on Wednesday. Um, but overall, um, it was two great wins in Miami. Like I said, Miami lost the last six or seven games, uh, playoffs. Um, you know, I definitely see, um, was there a difference if Terry or, um, Jimmy Butler were playing? Because they had beaten us. Maybe Jimmy Butler's a insane basketball player. But we have to see what happens. Um, Joe Mazzella is doing a great job as a head coach. Um, he's making, he, Eric, like I said, I have tremendous respect for the Miami Heat coach, but he's getting, yeah, he's getting outcoached by our coach. Um, but anyways, don't want to talk too much. Um, it was an unbelievable game. Um, you know, like I said, that flagrant call, I know Miami Heat fans are already going to be complaining about that. Um, you know, and, um, Boston, don't choke this lead, man. I swear to God, man, I can't. I'm not in the mood for my team to choke 3-1 series lead. I had enough suffering from last year when the Bruins choked that 3 series 1 lead. Um, by the way, I don't want to talk too much about the Bruins, but the Bruins have a chance to um, win their series in 5 tonight, actually. So tonight's going to be game 5 between the Leafs and the Bruins. Get it done, guys, um, for real, because I don't want this. You're up 3-1, and how many times the Leafs um, have gone down 3-1 to force a game 7? I do not want to see that happen you see you, you saw them in game four right they gave up practically they the the fans booed them they don't have the momentum finish the job down uh finish the job boys like i am not in the mood to see these teams choke a 3-1 series lead get the job done on wednesday for the celtics and get the job done tonight for the bruins um but anyway it's not gonna talk too much um overall it was a great game Derek white Oh my God, I hope we keep this guy for a real long time. Um, like I said, in terms of the injury with Chris Porzingis, um, we have to see what the the, 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 the status of his health is. Um, he's probably going to miss one game. That's going to be a huge blow for us. Even when uh, Jason Tatum went down, uh, when Bam pushed him, tripped him, kind of rolled his ankle, it was a scary moment. So we have to see what happens. Um, but... Celtics and Heat in Game 5, Wednesday night, 7 or 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, be sure to check it out. And then tonight is the Bruins and Leafs. 
um, game five. So both teams have the chance to close it out, and they need to get the job done. So we move on to the next round. Um, hopefully, uh, um, I'll see what the result is um, for tonight's Bruins and Leafs, and I'll see if I can do a video for you guys. But anyways, my name is Bruins Steel. Thank you guys for watching this Celtics talk um, for games three and four. Just sharing my thoughts on what I think. Um, it's, it's a comfortable 3-1 series lead. Um, but like I said, respect to Miami. They're a tough team, you know, but they just like, I don't know what happened to them, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, if you guys haven't done so, like, subscribe, check out my um, channel. Um, you know, if you guys haven't done so, uh, comment your favorite NBA team in the comment section. Um, uh, my name is Bruin Steel. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in the next Celtics video. Um, I'll see you guys later and peace out. See you guys later. Take it easy.